So, now uh, I also uh, will try to refresh your memory in terms of what are context words and so on and then uh, describe them with respect to the context word, what is a continuous bag of words and what is a uh, skip gram and so on. Okay. So, if you look at the uh, context words and you remember the uh, conditional probability that we used in terms of uh, identifying or predicting the next word in the language model. So, the in the language model the next word is the last word in the uh, context of words correct. Uh, that means, when a context of word is given the next one to the context is the word that you want to predict. So, in the case of a continuous bag of words a central word is surrounded by the context words. So, in the case of uh, the language model uh, let us say So, this is your context word in the case of the language model right and this is what the word you want to this is the word you want to predict correct. So, now in the case of continuous bag of words uh, we have an example here at the bottom uh, wish you many more happy returns of the day okay. this is the sentence that I want to be able to process. Uh, here I am taking the window size as 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then the central word is the one which I want to identify given the context words of more happy of the. Okay. So, given those context words I want to be able to find out what my central word is. Okay. Uh, in the case of this skip gram model uh, given the central word, I want to be able to predict the context words surrounding the central word. So, that is a difference. Okay. It's, so, in the case of the uh, continuous bag of words, given the context of the surrounding words, I want to find the central word. In the case of the skip gram model, given the central word, I want to find the uh, context. So, in this case, we have an input layer. Okay, and then we have a neuron that sums all the incoming uh, weights and then we have an output uh, which predicts the central word. Okay. So, in the case of uh, SIBO uh, we have in this case it is a, a 5 window uh, word. So, we have W t minus 2, W t minus 1, W t plus 1, W t plus 2. Okay. So, every time we will be inputting one of these uh, to the network and then uh, the linear sum is taken and then the output word. So, based on the understanding of the continu uh, continuous bag of words, so we will now define a, a neural network. So, in the neural network the, you are going to be having uh, a context word coming in as the input and then uh, it is linearly uh, summed uh, using the input and the weight and then the output is generated uh, using the uh, weights here and the uh, uh, hidden layer values. And then finally, we take a soft max to find out uh, what is the right word for us. So, in this case since uh, we are going to be using uh, the one hot vector, I will not be able to input all the words together in one shot. So, I will be inputting only one word at a time in this case. For example, if I take wish as my first word, I look at the uh, one hot vector related to the wish and then that will be input here. Okay. Uh, so, as I mentioned earlier SIBO is used for learning the central word. So, we want to maximize the probability of the word based on the word co-occurrence within a distance of n. So, in this case it is 5. Okay. If the input size is a 100 then the output size also would be 100. So, it will be 100 by 1 uh, input also would be 100 by 1. So, they have to match so, that is when when you do the soft max uh, all the 100 values would be output in the output layer and then you pick up which one you want to really uh, take as the predicted output and then you start doing the back propagation and back and forth you adjust the 
weights and calculate the summation, predict the output. In the same fashion, uh, we would be uh, training this skip gram model as well. So, in this case the input is going to be only one, right? So, that is the central word. Central word is going to be finding the context surrounding that central word. Okay. So, the process is the same. Again, uh, we will be using a one hot vector as the input and then if our vocabulary size is 100 and there will be 100 elements in this one hot vector and then we can decide the size of the uh, neurons uh, in the hidden layer let us say 10 okay. and then the output would be also uh, of the same size as the input. Even though I have given all those things, all those context words in this case, we will be computing the context word one at a time and then the size of the output would also be 100, there will be 100 neurons in this case. Again in this case we will be applying a softmax, so that the, uh, uh, the, uh, the values are distributed uh, across all the 100 elements and then we try to maximize uh, the probability of uh, obtaining the right word in the output. Okay or we will try to formulate an error function and try to minimize the error function and do the back propagation so that the error is minimized after certain epochs of time. So, uh, in this case as I mentioned SG is used to learn the context word given the central word. So, we would try to maximize the probability of word based on the word occurrence within the distance of uh, minus n plus n from the central word.